So, uh, I asked a question that many of you have been asking me to the Black Belt Barrister, my uh, friend and YouTube colleague uh, with a similar hairstyle. Um, being a nice guy that he is, the BBB, um, I asked the question and uh, rather than answer it, he uh, films a video answering the question that I can host on my channel. So, as always, it's not legal advice, it's guidance. And since my ban, I'm terrified to go anywhere near this sort of information. But uh, I've reviewed it. I don't think Daniel says anything that could be construed as anything except standard guidance. So enjoy. Hey everybody, my name's Daniel, also known as the Black Belt Barrister. I am a barrister who helps you understand law. Charlie's told me that lots of people have asked the question about mandatory vaccinations in the workplace and why and whether employers are allowed to dismiss you if you refuse to have the vaccine when they say that you must do so. So I thought I would give you a little bit of an overview as to my thoughts on this situation because it's an ever-changing situation but nonetheless I thought these might be helpful to you. So first the bad news, if your employer has said that you must get the vaccine otherwise your employment's going to be terminated, there isn't really a lot you can do about that if they actually go ahead and dismiss you. There are only very narrow circumstances where you can actually challenge your dismissal and get that overturned. But that really goes into a whole other discussion. But if your employment is terminated or you feel you must resign because of the pressure put upon you by the employer to get the vaccine when you feel you don't want it or you have a valid reason not to have it, then you can bring an employment tribunal complaint and that's done by filing an ET1 claim form. But I would suggest you get legal advice before doing so. Common examples of employment tribunal complaints are unfair dismissal, discrimination and unfair deductions from pay. So these are going to be useful when talking about whether your employer can force you to have the vaccine or not. Now there are two categories of workplace that we really need to look at here. First of all those that include care homes and other health and social care workplaces and aside from that everywhere else. Now there are regulations that came into force on the 11th of November of this year, 11th of November 2021, that means that regulated care homes in England must ensure that from the 11th of November that no person enters a care home unless they provide evidence that they've either been fully vaccinated or that they are exempt. And for the workplaces in the broader scope of the health and social care sector, the government has also confirmed that these will be implemented from the 1st of April of 2022. So as it stands currently, only regulated care homes are permitted to legally require workers to be vaccinated from the 11th of November of this year. So for the vast majority of employers, there are a few key issues that they really should consider here. First of all, that the vaccination is not going to be suitable for everyone and not everyone is going to want the vaccine. But secondly, and rather more importantly, requiring that an employee be vaccinated without their consent as a condition of providing them with work may well amount to a constructive dismissal. Now, constructive dismissal is not a statutory term. In other words, it's not written down legislation. What it really means is that the employer has committed some kind of act which is so bad that it breaches their contract of employment with you, the worker to the degree that is what's known as the last straw principle. They've done something so bad that you feel that you must and have no choice but to resign. And broadly speaking, a claim that's founded on constructive dismissal is a form of unfair dismissal because it forces you as the worker to feel that you have no choice other than to resign because to remain in the workplace is simply untenable. You can't stand it anymore. So an important distinction is that whilst it's called constructive dismissal, it's not where your employer dismisses you. It is where you've resigned because you feel that you had no choice but to resign. So whilst it's got dismissal in the title, it is actually the person resigning with or without notice because they feel they had no choice. So there are two main things for employers and employees to think about here. If the employer is forcing employees to have the vaccination against their consent as a condition to providing them with work, then this might well amount to a repudiatory breach of contract. In other words, it's a breach of your employment contract, which may force you to feel like you're in a position that you must resign because you have no choice, which might well found a claim for constructive dismissal. The second consideration is that a mandatory vaccination requirement might amount to either direct or indirect discrimination against certain employees. 
usually if they exhibit certain protected characteristics and as a result of one of those that they cannot or simply refuse to have the vaccine, then a mandatory requirement may be discriminatory in that sense as well. And this would be in addition to human rights considerations, particularly Articles 8 and 9, but perhaps more for that in another video. Now the standard ground for employers would probably be to rely on a legitimate aim when making a mandatory vaccination requirement. But current legal updates suggest that this might be difficult to rely on because the research is still ongoing as to what effect the vaccination has on the transmissibility of COVID-19 or for how long the protection of the vaccine will last. So there you have it. The broad position is if your employer has or will dismiss you because you haven't or will not have the vaccine, there's probably not very much you can do about it at that time, save for bringing a complaint to an employment tribunal. But as always, it's not as simple as that. And making the vaccine a mandatory requirement to provide you with work could have serious issues for the employer. I hope you enjoyed that. If you do enjoy the way I put content across, do feel free to subscribe to my channel, which hopefully Charlie has linked below. Thanks to Charlie for having me on your channel and see you all next time.